Okay, so here we are at the third main point that a feeder driver has to deal with according to what we talk about, slips and falls, is the back of the trailer. Right. We know, Dan, as well, that a lot of these trailer doors, they're left open, uh, some of the straps are actually cut, and you know, what are the things that you're looking at to try to get up and down out of that trailer, you know, safely? Yeah, I, you know, I know that there's no good way to get in and out of the back of a trailer um, without a load stand. I know that that step, you know, it's tempting to take a shortcut and to step on the step and walk into the back of the trailer um, without a load stand. But the steps, depending on the weather condition, really any time of the year, that step can be slick. It can be very easy to fall. There's just no good way to get up into the back of the trailer using three points of contact without a load stand. Right, I mean, you know, that strap is not a handrail. Absolutely not. That is not there for you to grab onto no. and use it as a handrail. These steps here, you know, they can, same thing. When it's raining, they're gonna be very slick. When right. there's snow, that tends to build up behind your trailer anyways, right. they're gonna be slick. Right. The only way to get in and out of these trailers is actually with a load stand as Peyton has done. That's right, yeah, just everybody needs to always remember a lot of times we're on these lots, it's late at night, we're by ourselves, you can't afford to fall out of the back of a trailer. You know, if you're relying on that strap to hold your weight when you're leaning backwards to shut that trailer door, if that strap gives way and you fall back and hit your head, it could be hours before somebody comes and finds you. So always be safe, always get a load stand, to shut your trailer door. Yeah, if it knocks you unconscious, it ain't like you can call an ambulance. That's right.